Hey everybody, welcome back, I'm Michael A.L. Fox, that dude. How's it going? It's like episode 600, you know, not everyone can have an original intro. What do you think this is, The Simpsons? Even The Simpsons have been doing it for like 24 years, they take weeks off. Um, I almost hit spacebar on the lost. We're actually due for random. Oh, please God. It's been a little while since we've done this, and it always scares me a little bit. It looks like we're gonna be Kane, though. That makes, <laughs> like, 15 or 14 randoms without encountering the lost. We're batting above what we would expect to be doing. E-J-R-N-N-F-H-3. Let's do this, Kane. What do I like about you, Kane? I like that you give me a really easy opportunity to go, Look who we got! Ah, Kane's on now! Which is like a, a Hanes underwear reference. We can go in here just fine. It always freaks me out because it's been like uh, I, I over the course of the streak, there was about three days where I probably did seven to eight runs a day. So I was in the freaking Binding of Isaac zone. Then I played a bunch of Nuclear Throne, uh, and I've, I've fallen out. Like we're talking seriously on the scale of like a week here. So like the first half of my week was just dedicated to rebirth. So I was in tune with the strategy. Then I played the Nuclear Throne, and then let's look at stuff for a couple of days here. And I've, I find myself being 95% tuned into Isaac, but I, I I feel like my brain's in Nuclear Throne mode, and that's what scares me a little bit. Is I gotta, you know, it, it's always like one run to get back into that kind of Isaac homeostasis where I just sort of intuitively be like, okay, I, I understand the language that the game is speaking to me, and we'll take BBF here, no, no problems there, hopefully. Um, one thing we should know with BBF is that we probably do want to move uh, pretty quickly at the start of each room to make sure that we don't get hit, and we'll look at which way it's going, and we'll try to go the other way just to make it safe. But um, what I'm getting at, yeah, it's like I'm, it's like I speak. This is a very like uh, self-important way of describing it. But it's like I speak different dialects of the same language, the rogue lightish language. Um, I'm, I'm speaking. The, I'm used to the nuclear throne dialect. I've been living in. Uh, the nuclear wasteland for a couple of days. Now I need to get back to Rebirth Ease, which of course was the um, the dialect that I originally became semi-fluent in. So just give me a little moment here as I uh, as I try to work this out. We're gonna see if maybe there's some sort of crawl space action going on down here. Doubtful, but if there is, oh snap! If there is, we can just put a bomb here and blow up six of those and then get down here. I wouldn't have expected this to work out. Do, 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 do. Wow. Still, was it worth a bomb? I think it was worth Why not? You know? Worked out for us. Hoping that this is a secret room, and of course it is. We get two bombs out of it. I'm going to blow up uh, ten mushrooms for it. I think that's acceptable. Uh, Liberty Cap. Two bombs for Liberty Cap is, is fine. And then we get Magic Mush out of it as well. And speed up. Yeah. Okay, that's well worth it. This is an extremely lucky floor. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that the whole reason I went into that secret room was to try to get five cents so I can get an arcade. Now that I think about it, maybe Magic Mushroom, a decent trinket, and uh, a speed upgrade is, is probably a little bit better of a haul. Can't open up that Tinted Rock. Yet, at least, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to do so soon. In fact, there's a, a large need for bombs on this floor. Such awful damage there. Just walk directly uh, backwards. You know what? Liberty Cap's fine. I, I love Liberty Cap, actually, but Flatworm is a little funnier. Oh, how did you dodge that? And Flatworm is not terrible. It makes your, your hitbox bigger. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Why am I going to do it? Well, in a weird way, Flatworm almost makes me feel like this is not so bad. Why the hell would you ever say that? Because it makes our shots uh, thicker, basically. Which means that, you know, one of the principal things that sucks about soy milk is that you're always hitting enemies off-center or missing them because of the small size of the tiers. And then it just compounds the problem where you need to hit them a hundred times in order to actually kill them. So I don't think that this is good. I think it would be much better to just skip uh, soy milk. But I can't skip... S Here's my theory as to why the game has been very kind about not making me random the lost. It's because I embrace the shittiness and the absurdity of some of the other items. So when soy milk comes up, I always take it. So the game, it looks at its luck ledger, and it goes, you know what, Northern Lion picked up soy milk on a recent run. That's like, give him another three days of good luck here. That was a, a pretty absurd uh, situation there. Uh, the shot speed at least will go up. I don't even know if we can have, we can have any more tiers. We're kind of like at that cap already, I have to imagine. This is not so bad, to be honest with you. Of course, it could be better, but... Uh, We've, we've made our bed here, and honestly, our damage still seems pretty good. I don't think that uh, Toothpicks is going to be the the item that we really want it to be now, because we're probably already at the uh, tiers cap. However, 
it's not that bad, man. And, you know, even if you're going to be like, oh, well, your damage sucks now with soy milk, you're not wrong. However, we do have... Oh, so good. We do have BBF, which gives us an out. Well, obviously, the secret room is not going to be up there. Maybe we'll get lucky and find another crawl space. No, we got a spirit heart, though. Uh, this is probably our secret room then, but I'm going to try something a little fishy here. Let's blow this up. Didn't think there'd be a second secret room, but... Ah, we should have picked that up earlier. Well, flat penny or burnt penny? Honestly, <laughs> I think we take flat, flat worm, sorry. Flat penny would be great as well, but I think we do take flat worm. Might think I'm being a little silly with this, but I really think having the larger hitbox, it matters. It's like doubling or tripling the size of our hitbox on, the, on our tiers right now, which is very useful with soy milk. I'm not just taking this for absurdity's sake. I like to draw a line there. I think flatworm, most of the time you take for, for shits and giggles. This time it's actually somewhat productive for us. So um, I, I do think it's actually the right choice. Maybe Liberty Cap is better, but uh, I think it does... It's hard to say. Burnt Penny is really good as well. And, you know, we're hurting on bombs. We could have we could use some of those bombs right now. But it's okay. Um, I, I think we can still carve a winning run out of this one. And I don't even think it's going to be that tough. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Uh, a lot of that will depend on... You know, how our deal with the devil meta goes and, and stuff like that. Good curse rooms, etc, etc. Let's try this. Uh, hope for some decent pills. Another speed up doesn't bother me. And we'll check for a secret room here. I think that would have found it. And, well, paid out nicely for us regardless. And since we've already gotten pretty good key economy going for ourselves, then let's open this up. And all of a sudden, bombs have been sorted out. And we may actually be able to pick up something from our shop as well with 10 cents and 5 bombs. So, what am I hoping for from the shop? There's options is uh, something I don't ask for all that often. But when it shows up, I'm always very happy. Mom's key would uh, keep us, you know, in the money in the consumable game for sure. And any of the candles would also be very helpful. Oh, there's still a fly up here. Any of the candles would also be extremely helpful at ensuring some, you know, base level of, of minimum damage. Of course, I ask for this on every run, but I'm going to ask for it doubly so because we have uh, soy milk. Or such a high uh, rate of fire regardless. Um, we would really like some piercing shots. Yes, piercing shots would be good. Main reason behind that is because we're knocking enemies all around unless we hit them head on or they're, you know, already on some kind of path so that they don't actually get moved very much. It's it's a problem. I can see forever's a great pill. And, you know, we have six bombs. Let's put a, a bomb down there, maybe get uh, an extra pill out of it. A second I can see forever pill is pretty useful. We didn't get one, though. <laughs> if you're watching with the, you know, you're, you're just listening, you're not watching, well, uh, I apologize for maybe getting your hopes up there. Kamikaze is real bad. If we get Pyro, Pyromaniac I should say, if we get Pyromaniac with this, we can at least win the run pretty much guaranteed. However, I would really, 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 really just like to get some traditionally decent damage as opposed to having to go that route. Because I we had that run less than 50 runs ago. Ask me how I know. And uh, I would... I don't want to wish that, it, you know, even on my worst enemy here. We're going to try to blow up this judgment. I thought that would work. Instead, we're going to use, like, 12 bombs to do it. Real sorry about this, buddy, but, uh, at least give me three bombs back when you explode. One key and one bomb is not awful here. Uh, one of these is, two of these are speed upgrades, which is getting a little silly. Two of these are pretty flies, which is amazing. And then one of them here is another I can see forever pill. Pill rotation has been very good. Not uh, rocking like health upgrades, but to be honest with you, I'd rather have I can see forever than tears upgrades at this point. Because I'm not even sure we can do anything with those. Alright, Mega Fatty is actually going to be a really good test of our damage. If we can take out Mega Fatty without, you know, it becoming a super war of attrition type thing, then I think we got a decent chance of keeping morale high over the course of this run. There are some things that, that easily make soy milk really, really good. Libra is the one that people always ask for, and with good reason. It's fantastic. But Kate and I had soy milk on a recent uh, Eden run. We started with it. And we got Lump of Coal, and it made our damage so good. Th that was not a terrible Mega Fatty fight, honestly. If we can get Lump of Coal, I'm really surprised we didn't get a uh, deal with the Devil here, considering we blew up the Judgment, but shit happens. Um, if we can get Lump of Coal... 
this is is potentially actually not even just good damage for soy milk, just good damage in general. BFF will take. Uh, there is something to be said for, of course, the um, deck of cards, but I'm going to take BFF for now. Makes little Steven a little bit better. Makes uh, It makes the hitbox at least bigger on BBF as well. And how can you resist? You got BBF, BFF, that means if I get the names wrong, as I so often do, at least, you know, I can trick people into thinking that I'm still talking about the other one, because I also have it on this run. I don't know if it actually causes BBF to deal more damage, but either way, we have it, and I'm happy for it. I think we just go. I mean, we could we could get a deck of cards by blowing up the donation machine enough, but I don't think it's worth it. I think we just head down to the next floor and, you know, no arcade, no real problem. Can't really do much with that either. Yeah, yeah, let's go down to the next floor. We can pop I Can See Forever right away and really, really open for a deal with the devil on this floor that can help us get out of, uh, well, not even get out of a, da a bad situation, a dad situation. Nah, just to help us out uh, when it comes to our damage. We gotta make a little bit of progress on our damage soon or, you know, once we get down to later floors, it's gonna look pretty bad. So many batteries that we can't use, but it's not that we can't use them. We just can't use them yet. Hopefully we'll be able to turn that around. I think two bombs is worth it for whatever we get in here, and immediately I regret that decision. Can't believe we didn't get hit there. Pills have been good! Mm, not so much that one, but as Kane, I think we can absorb a luck down without it being a serious cause for concern. I'd almost like a greed fight here just to set us up for future shops, but I don't think we can ask for it fully. Nine volts, spirit heart, I mean, they're good, but they're not necessarily what we need right now. Just trying to skip as many rooms as possible to get in... This must be like a mini boss room or something? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I knew it was some kind of special room at least, but uh, I, I want to skip as many rooms as possible so we can basically improve our deal with the devil chance. We don't have an automatic deal with the devil, even though I haven't really been talking about it. It's because we, we've done pretty well at not getting hit, actually, but um, we, we do need to not get hit in order to ensure ourselves this deal with the devil. Now we've got uh, Peep. Again, I can't stress enough that Lump of Coal may actually be better than our traditional deal with the devil items. It might be better than Mom's Knife or Brimstone. Oh, that was such bad damage, but thank you, Gimpy. It might be better than Mom's Knife or Brimstone um, with Soy Milk. Especially considering we've got decently big tiers. They're gonna hit more reliably. And, um... Our, our rate of fire, of course, our range, our shot speed, they're all totally fine. I do think we just go to our, uh... We just go to our curse room. Just trying to shoot in, like, a wave of shots here. I don't want to put myself too often on the line of sight with these guys directly. Ooh, okay. We will take Guppy's Collar because Guppy's soy milk is, is pretty okay. We have reached a dead end. I'm just not going to shoot them because exactly that is going to happen. Now we don't need to worry about a deal with the devil, so it would actually be awesome if there was a, a productive way for us to take red heart damage to lower our chances of getting a deal with the devil on the boss fight so we could keep our, our highest chance for the next floor. You know, avoid invoking the penalty of uh, having gotten a deal with the devil gear. I'll, I'll admit every time, by the way, that I stole that strategy from someone on the subreddit. Someone who was like, I've never seen Northern Lion do this strategy. But check it out, you know, after you get a deal with the devil via, like, Joker card teleportation, you should try to take red heart damage if it doesn't fudge up your run too much, uh, to make sure that you don't get a, a natural deal with the devil and thus don't suffer the minus 50% penalty for a deal with the devil on the next floor. It's a, it's ingenious. And I mean that, you know, if you're watching this, you're a smart dude and or lady. I think I'm gonna go hard on this one. Try to get another spirit heart. Pulse Worm, I don't think is as useful as Flatworm for us here. Uh, Child's Heart just is not useful at all. Counterfeit Penny can be useful temporarily. I, I really want, like, a Spirit Heart, though. Uh, yeah, we'll open it. Five cents? Five cents? Yeah, five cents. Perfect. Um, the reason I want five cents is because what I'm thinking is, like, we can go buy a Spirit Heart from the shop. Spirit Harp? Spirit Harp! Uh, and actually, while we do this, I'm going to go back for Counterfeit Penny. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to walk on some spikes, take Red Heart damage. I know that this will lose us the Black Heart. Then we'll go buy the Spirit Heart, not die against the boss. That's a big part of my overall plan. Um, and in doing this, give ourselves a better chance at uh, 
getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. It would actually be for the best if we could take red heart damage on the boss fight, because that would definitely guarantee we wouldn't get it. I want to try maybe here for some kind of pill. It was, I, whether or not it was worth a shot is debatable, I guess. So we're getting into, like, that's actually a high-level Isaac strategy. That is, um, this is not Isaac 101. This is like Isaac, holy shit, there's like some serious theory and strategy going on here. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't backfire on us. I mean, our basic strategy has worked out very well for us over the course of the game so far. Over the course of the streak so far, I should say. Abel, of course, not the pickup I was looking for, but with BFF, I suppose, you know, we can at least feel somewhat okay about it. You really missed everything there? I'm very disappointed by this. There's our 12th speed upgrade. How do we do this? Um, do we know this pill? Pretty fly. Oh, this is probably worth it. Okay, we the, the, the catch with this is that we have to do this without dying. So, let's lose our spirit heart in advance. Like so. Black heart, I should say. Lose our spirit heart in advance. He dropped a spirit heart for me. That's that's fantastic. Thank you. I'm still going to buy the other one. Then Mega Ma touches us. There we go. And we, dropped, we got another spirit heart there, so that's even better. So, just don't die against Mega Ma, which is a really, really easy ask. And we have... Uh, no chance of getting a deal with the devil here because we just took red heart damage. We get a range upgrade we can't really use, but that's okay. And you know what? We're actually not going to go buy the other spirit heart because we're totally fine, thanks to Gimpy. So, you know, kudos to you, Mr. Subreddit, for hopefully giving us a deal with the devil on the next floor. If we get a deal with the devil on the next floor, I dedicate this whole run to your honor right now. Necropolis 1, Curse of the Blind. Just because it's Curse of the Blind, that doesn't invalidate it, man. Figured that, that looked like a template for our secret rooms, so... We gave it a shot, and it worked out, and a little bit more money, never hurt anybody. Uh, let's just cool it. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking, like, let's wait and see. Oh my god, that dodge. Let's wait and see what happens here. Because if we can kill one of these guys with uh, BBF without me even having to move, then that's the, the preferable setup here. Strength card, uh, multiple, many different uses for this, depending on what we desire the most. Could use it to play a Blood Bank effectively, could use it to, with Guppy's Paw, to get some guaranteed Spirit Hearts that won't go away. Have to be a little cautious about our HP, at least until we find the shop. Could get a Spirit Heart on it, but we want to be careful for now. Three Red Chests, we gotta try. Lots of Spirit Hearts. I was originally gonna use my Strength card here, but I don't think that's necessary anymore. Let's start taking some pills. I can see Forever's good. Just want to get these pills sorted out before the boss shows up. Lockdown is not one I want right now, and neither is Tears Down, but honestly, Tears and Luck are, are two of the stats we could probably most afford to lose right now. We do, Also, we didn't take the Luck Down this time, because that would just be silly. Ooh, that was very bad. Very stupid of me to take damage there, but we got two Spirit Arts here, so we still turned a Profit uh, on HP. Watch out for little haunts. Wow. I'm embarrassed. That's okay, though. Let's crank open these skulls. You never know what kind of lovely cards you can get out of these. Awaz rune. Well, we got a black heart. That's just a trip down to the next floor. I think the sun card is better than the strength card. In in most situations, including this one. That should be a magician card, which honestly, with, uh, with soy milk, might not be that bad. But I'm going to stay away from it for now. Sun card a little bit safer. Gotta be very, very cautious about this room. This is where, um, yeah, BBF is gonna be like my hero here. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Greed fight? I'm assuming greed fight. Money was pretty good. Not a greed fight. Actually, uh, books. How to jump. Anarchist cookbook. Man, could you have given me two worse books in this situation? Uh, I think we take How to Jump. And How to Jump at least allows me to get some consumables I would otherwise have been unable to get. Uh, possibly dodge out of the way of some some shots. Wow. Thank you, Pretty Fly. Can we jump, like, behind these? I don't think so. No. I'm trying. Guess you gotta fly for those. So this should be our shot, then. Ooh. Ooh, right, 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 right. 
See, this is what I mean. We need to start picking up uh, some kind of damage or things are going to get real tricky real quickly on this. Look at this knockback, man. It's so stupid. Knockback is stupid. You hear me? Stupid. Lump of Cold Guppy saves this run. And it doesn't just save it. It turns it into a run that, you know, the whole family can enjoy. I don't think we can jump over here either. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but I'm trying, man. Mom's contacts. Uh, I mean, I would expect things to get frozen, like, all the time now. Blank card. Blank card son is majestic. This is an incredible pickup for us. Uh, tears down. Not what I'm looking for. That's a very lucky turn of events, especially if we can get some HP. So, uh, we might as well... I mean, admittedly, it's not going to do that much damage against the boss, but I guess we might as well save it for the boss at this point. This is pretty good, actually. Waiting until both of them show up, because then we'll get double damage. So we're going to get a Deal with the Devil item here. So good. Deal with the Devil item here. Guppy's Hairball. That's two Guppies. We got to go for Broke, man. We have to. Oh, I really wish that was an item. Dead Cat, nine lives. We're Guppy now. Okay. And we got Lord of the Pit, which is useless. But we Guppy. We got ten lives. We got Blank Card Sun. Won't you come... Wash away the pain that resulted when we took soy milk. Rash decision. This is, uh, it's good now. It's, it's actually very good. Enemies are going to be frozen a lot. Um, they're, they're going to get immune to the freeze for a while, of course, but, uh, I think they'll mostly be dead by the time they unfreeze anyway as a result of the staggering number of flies that we'll produce. So this is incredible. Don't forget that the sun also functions as basically a Necronomicon for us here, so... You know what? We... Straight up! Subreddit, man. Subreddit, man. Hit on the head with a frying pan. We had a streak. Subreddit wins. Subreddit, man. Thank you very much for the help that you've given me. You might have just won me that run. And I feel bad because I don't even remember your name. I'm like Mary Jane Watson in uh, Spider-Man 1. But that's okay. Because they... Lived happily ever after, I think. We're going to head down to the next floor here. And it's not 100% set because Soy Milk is such a wild card and we don't have, like, much HP to go on at all. However, it's uh, it's very, very good. It's certainly substantially better than it was uh, moments ago. And I have to say, you know, the knockback with, uh, with Soy Milk does suck. But the fact that we have the freeze from Mom's Contacts almost entirely counteracts it. Ooh. Um, we, we have to use it now, and I know that looks like it sucks, but, uh... We, we have to take Blank Card Sun, I think, with us. It's so good. The, the freeze, though, is what, what I was getting at. It's gonna keep enemies in the same place so that our flies and our, um... Our soy milk shots actually are totally effective. Much more effective than they used to be, because with the freeze, enemies don't move when they get hit. At least, I think all enemies don't move. Certainly, as, as much as we've seen so far, enemies don't move. Now we can see where we're going. Um, we'll go to the item room first. Again, uh, not set in stone. It is going to be hard for us to avoid taking damage. Scorpio's alright. Some uh, poison damage. Not a ton of damage, necessarily, but it's damage. Two of diamonds, we might as well just use. I know we could use this uh, cleverly and get to 99 cents. I, I doubt it's going to matter that much. First, I doubt it's going to have a chance to matter, and even if it does have a chance to matter, I really doubt it's going to uh, be important to be at 99 cents. Now, we could be very silly and take Ringworm here. Let's see how this looks. I kind of like it. And what would I be if not for absurdity, you know? So we'll pick this up. Ringworm, soy milk, all deliberately. But no man is that silly. <laughs> I, I, I take, um, I take combinations of items that are bad but funny. Isaac's heart is just bad and depressing, in my opinion. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, Northern Line, where's your commitment to absurdity now? Yo, I, if you take, deliberately take a shit run, there's nothing in the Constitution that should make you re-roll it into a good run. And we're probably gonna re-roll what we have now into a run that's better than this. I want to I wanna succeed on the merits that we worked for, you know? I took soy milk. I'm going to live with it. 
and we're probably going to win as a result. And you know what? Yeah, fuck yeah. I want that glory, man. I do. Get PhD. I've been looking for that for a long time. Tears up is probably not too meaningful, but that sure is. And we'll donate a little bit of money here. As much as we can, actually. Maybe now our this is how our money is going to matter. Like if I could have gotten a 99 cents uh, just by using blank card and uh, two of diamonds, we would have been able to donate as much money as we wanted to to our donation machine. There you go. I was wrong. It, it, it seems like it will matter a little bit if that's the kind of thing you're interested in. Good. Just keep it going here. That's not the best damage I've ever taken. You know what I'm looking for now? Dark Bomb. Would be a really, really good pickup. Insanely strong. With three bombs, I gotta look for like an HP upgrade here. What? How about here? I still think that would have found it. Alright, let's save one bomb in case we find Tinted Rocks. And do this. I don't think I'm gonna use the Sun card against Mom. Think in Ooh, that was not smart of me. I think instead, I will just uh, save it immediately for the, the womb, and then we'll know what direction to go in. Sun card's not going to do so much damage against Mom, so I don't feel like I'm, I'm making a huge mistake or anything like that here. Okay, this should be the last wave of Mom. Didn't get hit there, thankfully. No deal with the Devil, not a big surprise. Tinted Rocks, I do not see you. Let's do it. So we probably have one free room with the Sun. We might as well just, uh, you know, go to one direction maybe here and sort it out. That was a really good choice for it, actually. And this is a dead end, so not a, not a big problem either way. Still not 100% set in stone that this is uh, that this is a win. Got a pretty good shot at it. Should get a, a deal with the devil chance here. Oh, come on, man. Well, we did need bombs. Could be worse. Um, we should have a, a pretty good chance. I don't think that uh, this is where our streak is going to end. And hopefully by taking some weird setups, I've, I've appeased the, the gods of absurdity a little bit and we won't random the lost on our next rotation. But for now, this has actually been not just a uh, not just a, a good run, but a fun run as well. And those are always... It's nice to be able to say that, let's put it that way. Well, we got PhD, so pretty fly we can't do much with. Luck up is going to be great, especially with Gimpy. Balls of Steel, of course, is lovely. Hematomesis does nothing for us right now, so we'll take uh, the Sun card with us. Could be good if we get Dark Bomb, but... Actually, could be good if we come across a, a second secret room with Eternal Hearts in it as well, but... I'm not gonna get too cute with my plays here. I'm just gonna stick to the, the down, home, you know, good old classic Isaac theory that has gotten me this far. Like, definitely pick up soy milk. It's a special item, man. You might as well. We have, uh... Mr. Fred, probably. If I had to guess. Nothing wrong with that. Mr. Fred, we, we might be able to viably use the sun against, so we'll save the sun card for that. There is... Uh, you know what? We'll probably just save it for the cathedral. It's, I think it's better as a, a compass for us than it is as a Necronomicon when we get close to the end. Don't really want anything to do with that. Let's see what we got in here. It is an eternal heart. I don't want to take it. I, I don't want to ruin our permanent Polaroid invincibility, honestly. Oh man, double fallen and an HP upgrade on this room? Well, now that there's two HP, we might want to take one, but... Oh, the cathedral's not next. It's not an XL floor, it's just kind of large. Slight difference. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. I was just... I was, all those speed upgrade pills came back to bite me in the ass there. Well, I guess we will take the Eternal Heart now. What do you got for me? You got Brimstone? What do we have in here? Necronomicon. Ugh. Fine, do we take Brimstone? Let's take Brimstone. We're gonna be able to fire. It's gonna be so bad, also. Ringworm does nothing with Brimstone. You kidding me, mate? I'm not happy about that. Um, I think our Brimstone laser is going to do, like, next to no damage. I actually think this might have completely screwed our damage up. I made this exact same mistake on a recent run with, with Kate, actually. Um, damage seems okay. Wouldn't describe it as good, but it seems okay. Flies are going to help out. I don't think I was guppy on that run with Kate, so... This does help, but... Still kind of annoying. Um, but this is... It's certainly a zany run. I would have rather had just Krampus Lump of Coal than, than gotten Brimstone freaking Necronomicon. But... You can't choose how Isaac goes. All you can do is choose how you react to it, and... 
Honestly, we've been pretty lucky on this run. It's not really my own skill that's that's carrying us here. It's a combination of, uh, of items that have been given to us by the game, and I appreciate that a lot. As you can see, we're not necessarily blowing the doors off in terms of our overall speed. Figure we'll use the sun card right here, and uh, should check out our secret rooms. We'll use the sun card here. Won't be able to use it against Mom's heart, but that's okay. We'll be able to use it directly on the cathedral when we're ready. More money that's unlikely to ever be useful. What would I replace the sun card with at this point? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't really know, honestly, if we can find a, if I can fathom much that would that would really be a good replacement for the sun card right now. Um, depending on our HP, and if it was on like the chest, so I could at least keep one sun card around if I, in case I needed full health. Um, or, or the compass for that matter. Uh, well, the, the mapping in general. Luck up is good by my standards. Um, I would, like a strength card or a high priestess or an empress or a devil. Um, something that upped our damage might be, uh, might be a decent take. It's really flies and, and BBF that are going to be my huge discrete damage dealers here, so. Very thankful that landed. All I'm here to do, basically, is, is freeze and, uh, you know, point out for the flies where I want them to go. And they are doing a pretty good job of finishing the job here. Pretty good job of finishing the job. Gonna be a relatively fast run as well for a soy milk run. That doesn't bother me in the least. I immediately regretted this room. As soon as I walked in, I was like, this is gonna be like Envy or Wrath. And actually, we're very lucky it is Wrath. If it were Envy... I would be very disappointed in things. Well. Still not the most enjoyable run of all time. And this is the wrong direction. That's okay. We will check out our secret room. We have enough keys to feel okay about that, even though it didn't really pay out worthwhile for us. I didn't mean to spend a key there. That one falls on me, I suppose. Still six keys. Do we have Guppy's tail? I thought we didn't get the tail, so that's why I'm... Uh, Surprised at all the golden chests that have been showing up, but maybe I'm just overly sensitive and this is uh, actually not many more than you'd normally expect. I don't think that's worth it at this point. Not To get it for free, sure, to have to fight for it, not really interested. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the sun card. Even though we're going to be able to use it against Isaac, I think we don't need to, and it'll save us a lot of heartache on the, on the chest potentially to, to use it right away and figure out just where the heck we're going. Let's not forget that this sun card is also... Uh, full health whenever we need it, and we actually can take advantage of it. I'm not going to break the math down right now, but basically, as long as we only get hit like once every three rooms or something like that, uh, right now, we should be totally fine to just use it as a full health pill and, and still survive. Now, that's uh, admittedly a pretty dangerous game to be playing. You can only get hit once every three rooms on the chest. That's not super easy to, to guarantee. But it's a start, and we've got all these spirit hearts backing it up right now, so you could, you know, realistically expect that we're able to make something good happen there. You know, I, I know we only have five bombs. There's no more tinted rocks showing up, so I feel like we might as well just uh, throw them in here on this Isaac fight. Probably the time in the game where they're going to be most relevant, even though they're not really dealing that much damage for me as is right now. I'm kind of hoping for the freeze, but it's not coming up. It's a relatively solid run. Honestly, all things considered, I can't be perturbed about this one at all. You know, if you're going to get soy milk, we, uh... You want it to be on a run like this where you can still actually kill things, even if it's not super easy. No curse on the chest. No curse tonight on the home home. So we got chocolate milk. I don't even know how this is going to work with brimstone, but whatever. The soul, pretty good. Nod leaf, pretty good. We can be totally content with this. I mean, the bombs, not as useful, but um, five extra bombs and having all bombs home is not bad. It would be really cool if it synergized. Oh, Algus Room is great. It would be really cool if it synergized so that you could actually have, um, like, BBF homing bombs. It would be probably a little overpowered, maybe, but also a, a whole lot of fun. Dude, you don't want to do this greed. Like, this is not your time to shine, okay? This is this is my run. Algae's Rune uh, is definitely something that would beat the, the Sun card for me. Even if we're only able to use it once, but we... At least, in theory, we could use it multiple times. But I'm probably not gonna. I'm just gonna save it for Blue Baby. Uh, although, now that I think about it, we could... 
use it once and then use it again on Blue Baby, just using the card, or sorry, using the, the rune instead of the blank card. Let's not forget that when we actually do get hit, we're going to get a huge uh, bonus chance to get a Spirit Heart via Gimpy. So, I mean, that's exactly what happened there. But our luck stat is, first off, we're Kane, which I think with the luck foot gives us a decent uh, foothold on good luck. And then also after that, we picked up more luck up pills than down pills, I think. Spiders are not going to be that impressive, but, you know, it's okay. I popped the Algiz rune instead of using blank card. Not a very good decision. It's okay, though. We can spend pretty much as much time as we want in here. And actually, you know what? Guppy's hairball <laughs> might be, like, our principal damage dealer if I can actually get it to hit here. Might be our single biggest source of damage that we can reliably do something about here. Wow. Okay, well, that was a fun run. I enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See you next time.